the topic of this video is going to be how to make iPad read text aloud. And of course, just like a lot of times, there are multiple approaches or ways how you can go about it. So let's just get into it. In the, the case that you are browsing a website, you are reading an article and you would like to make the iPad read the text and stuff out loud to you, then what you can do is to swipe down using two fingers from the top of the screen, just like that. Guides, and the iPad is going to start reading the stuff out loud to you. If it doesn't work and you cannot get it to work, it is probably disabled. So if you go to the settings and you go to the accessibility section, then click on a spoken content, you're going to be able to see all of the settings and all of the possible options that you can tweak when it comes to speaking content on the iPad. So the speak screen option has to be enabled in order to use the two fingers and swipe down on the top of the screen to make the content of the screen be spoken. So if this didn't work, then make sure that speak screen is enabled. But above it, there is a speak selection, which does kind of a similar thing. It also has to be enabled in order to make things work. But if you are reading again an article, you can just highlight the entire paragraph or the entire text and the speak button is going to pop up alongside the copy and other buttons. So if you just tap on speak, all of the selected text is going to be read out loud to you. So that's definitely very useful. Whereas the swipe down speaks the entire screen, this only reads the selection of the text. The next option is one called speech controller and this is like a floating button if you enable it, which allows you to have speak capabilities around with you all the time. So you can choose the idle opacity, uh, how visible it is when you don't do anything with it. And you can just have it there, have it sit there on the screen all the time. And every time you would like the iPad to read things, you can just a long press on it to read all content or just double tap to speak on touch. You can modify the things. So definitely a, a nice way to use this show, uh, this speech controller, in fact. So for example, if you double tap this uh, controller, the speak on touch is going to be enabled. And after that, everything that you touch is going to be spoken out loud to you because you can just tap on something like general settings and it's going to say general. So that's definitely very useful. There is also the option to highlight content as it's being spoken to you. That's useful to keep track of where the speech actually is. So you can see exactly all of the words as they're being read. That's also very useful. There is not much to really tweak in here. You can just enable it or disable it. Another section and another part of uh, this spoken content settings is typing feedback. And uh, this also has to do with the speaking of the text, but uh, as long as you're typing something, you can choose that every character that you type is going to be read out loud. I'm not sure if that's useful for a lot of people, but it's definitely there. You can even choose speak words. So every word that you type is going to be read to you. Then you have speak auto text. So you can automatically speak auto corrections and auto capitalization. So every time you just type something in and it's incorrect, you have autocorrect enabled. And every time it just corrects it, then it's not only visible, it also tells you that it is being corrected. Like that's also another feature that may be useful for somebody. And besides that, you also have hold to speak predictions. So of course, when you're typing and you have predictions enabled, then you can just hold on to them and it's just going to be read to you again, a spoken content. There's also the option to change voices. And of course, uh, the, the more common the language is, the more options there are. But yes, you can even find some uh, less known languages and definitely tweak some of the things there. You can even change uh, and download, for, for example, enhanced version of uh, the voice and you can set a specific speed for uh, that uh, language. So that's also very useful. But if you come back, you can also choose the speaking rate uh, generally for any spoken text. And that's also very useful because some people like to have it slower, some people like to have it faster, of course. 
and pronunciation is the last section and if you open it up by default that there is nothing there it's literally empty but there is also the plus icon and if you tap on it you can choose a phrase and a substitution for it so whenever there's a phrase or a word that the spoken content the the apple speech mispronounces a lot then you can choose the substitution for it and you can just say something differently anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and if you did i would encourage you to leave a thumbs up because it helps the channel and the video and it also shows me that you liked it you can also leave a comment because i try to reply to most of them so chances are that i will get yours as well again if you want to stay tuned for more content like this make sure to subscribe and we can see each other in the future videos enjoy the rest of your day